ladies and gentlemen, my name is uh, Kira Nakagawara, speaking from Japan. It's a great honor for me to give a short speech in the Onkotong celebrating the International Childhood Cancer Day, ICCD, today. So before starting, I'd like to say congratulations to Dr. Guillermo Shantada, President of SIOP, and Dr. Gebor Tamamian, uh, President of SIOP Asia, as well as uh, the Chairman of Pediatric Oncology for East and Mediterranean, POEM, uh, POEM, for uh, organizing such a fantastic event of Onkotong. Uh, for the sake of conquering childhood cancers in the whole world. Since my time allowed is 10 minutes or less, I'd like to focus on several points. Now, first of all, who am I? I am a pediatric oncologist specified to clinical and the basic research of solid tumors. After graduating uh, from Kyushu University School of Medicine in Fukuoka, Japan, I started to work as a general surgeon, but soon later moved to the uh, pediatric surgery in order to treat the children with cancer. When I took their PhD course, I selected the biochemistry uh, because I liked uh, biomedical science and loved to unveil the molecular mechanism of how the disease was caused. Therefore, I had to be a pediatric surgeon, a clinician for about 15 years, and then switched to, uh, to be a molecular and genetics researcher of childhood cancer, especially of neuroblastoma. So then, uh, let me talk about uh, what experience uh, inspired me. During my clinical experience for 15 years, I treated or did the surgery of many patients uh, who suffered from childhood uh, solid tumors uh, which included neuroblastoma, liver tumor, Williams tumor, germ cell tumor, soft tissue tumor, ocellular coma, etc. So among them, I was very much uh, impressed by neuroblastoma. So one day, early in the morning, when I was a uh, postgraduate course of pediatric surgeon, I went to the ward to see the six-year-old girl with shining eyes, but with, unfortunately, stage four neuroblastoma. It happened early in the morning with a beautiful sky and sunshine. The girl said, Mother, could you please turn on the light because it's dark. Both the mother and I froze in a moment. We realized that she suddenly lost the light because of the eye metastasis of the tumor. At that time, there were no words for us at all. This experience became one of my strong motivations to have worked on neuroblastoma since then. What does C C ICCD mean to me? Yes, February 15th is the day of ICCD. So ICCD stands for uh, International Childhood Cancer Day which always motivates uh, my heart emotionally. We usually have uh, an event to advocate the ordinary people 
to show why we work for the children with cancer. The event is usually held in my hometown, Saga, Japan. So therefore, the title of the event is called as ICCD in Saga 2025 for this year. After the COVID-19 pandemic, we hold this event only on site. So because uh, please visit Saga, Japan, if you are interested in. It's a beautiful city in Japan. The celebration of ICCD is led by International Society of Pediatric Oncology, SIOP SIO. So, SIOP is very special for me. And because my first participation to SIOP Congress was nearly 40 years ago when I gave an invited lecture on the role of uh, Mikan oncogene in neuroblastoma. After then, I worked as a continental president of SIOP Asia from 2010 to 15 and held the main SIOP Congress in Kyoto in 2018 as a chairman of LOC. After that, I established the Asian, uh, we established the Asian uh, Childhood Cancer Clinical Study Group named as Asian Pediatric Hematology and Oncology Group, APHOG, APOC, in 2021 which tightly collaborates with SIOP Asia, just like uh, two fields of a cut, a Chinese proverb. The next SIOP Asia Congress uh, will be held in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, from coming uh, April 12th to 15th under the direction of the chairperson, Dr. Hiba Altara. I'm very much excited about uh, my first visit to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. In that conference, I'm talking about the APOC's history, activities, plans for the future, as well as its tight collaboration with Cyber Asia, OM, uh, Send You the Global, WHO, and other global partners. So since Asia uh, is the largest continent with about 60% of world population, though uh, it contains more than 80% of low and um, uh, middle-income countries, the role of Cyber Asia should be very important in the future. However, for aiming its goal, our Cyber Asia alone or APOC alone can't do it without collaboration with many global partners, as mentioned uh, before. So, uh, let's work together for the future of Asia as well as the whole world. I believe that uh, this oncotone should propagate the same message in order to bring happiness for the sick children with cancer in the whole world. Thank you.